Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And if you don't already know, I'm That Dramatic Parrot, a channel that posts art videos every Thursday and Saturday. So if you haven't already, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss, whoa, there goes my pencil. So you don't miss any videos during the week that I may go ahead and upload. If this video is helping you today, make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you go and check out my Instagram page. My Instagram page is where I post my art daily. Make sure you go and follow me on Instagram. And so let's go ahead and get into it. So I wanted this to be our last official mermaid tutorial of the month because after this, we're gonna go ahead and jump into Despicable Me 3 tutorial series. Very excited for Despicable Me 3. I love Gru. All right, so we are going to draw baby Ariel today. Not baby, but she's like little Ariel. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the shape of her face. Divide that quarter view of her face since we're seeing more of this side of her face as opposed to this side. So after I divide her face down the middle, I'm going to go ahead and give her that eye line right here. Let's start with her eyes first. Since we're seeing this eye's kind of cut off just a little bit, let's start with this one. So we're going to go ahead and go up and curl outwards like this. Then we're gonna jump down on the side in the corner. So where our, eyelash, our first eyelash just went, we're just gonna go ahead and bring that down and go under where that eye line is. So we have one eye. Now we're gonna jump over to here, good bit of space away from it. And you're gonna start from right here so it's kind of in the middle of this line. Bring this up downwards just a little bit where that eye line is because you you're a little bit downwards you just want to keep it nice and even so I'm gonna go under and I'm gonna go up I'm gonna make her pupil iris shine area same over here I'm gonna jump I'm gonna leave a little space in the corner and jump to this side and leave that pupil iris space. Make sure they're the same size. Find a little bit of her eyelid. So we have an eyelid here, jump over here, and we have an eyelid right here. Let's go ahead and define that space. So I have a shine there and shine here. And I'm gonna jump into the corner of that area, fill in, there's my pupil and then fill in this spot, which is her pupil. Then I can go ahead and define her eyelash line a little bit more. So she has a very thick eyelash line on top. And of course it goes outwards, out, out, out. And then jump on top, another really thick eyelash line. And it goes out this way, out this way, and out this way. We only see the eyelashes right here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw an eyebrow here. Jump over here. Above this eye. I'm going to put really just very thin eyebrows. Then I'm going to go down below and draw a circle. So I'm going to go underneath and give a little bit of a nostril. And then I'm going to go ahead and give her that side to her nose. jump above where I marked her nose and bring up that little nose ridge. Below her nose, I'm going to start with her lips. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go underneath her nose, curve it out this way. So I go up, both, and then up make a little bit of a dimple area. Now I'm going to go ahead and define that upper lip a little bit more so I curve this way, go into it, 
and up. Then I'm going to go ahead underneath her nose, underneath her upper lip, bring this out. Go out this way and then back in and up into her smile that we just created. Then I'm going to jump inside underneath her lip again. Make this a little bit straight because this is her teeth. And there we have her smile and lips. After we go ahead and fill in her eyes and everything, I just wanted to define her face a little bit more. So her forehead is going to go outwards just a little bit. And you're going to go inwards towards her right eye. And then you're going to go ahead and bring down her little cheek. Bring out her chin just a little bit below. And then back into her face again. It's not the only little face we're drawing today. We're going to go ahead and draw another circle down below her face. And I'm kind of making it in the shape of a candy corn almost. And divide it down here. And I'm going to go upwards with this little face. It's little flounder. We have one eye on this eye line over here. We're going to go ahead and make an oval. Jump over here and make an oval to where these two, these two points meet jump a little bit off to the side round this down go upward just a little bit and curve this going upward for a smile and define the cheek go underneath Oh, I have little itty bitty flounder's mouth. Another thing I want to do, I want to go underneath each of his eyes and just curve this upward. Jump over here, curve this upward. Make a pupil up here. Make another pupil up here. Draw his little eyebrows. One eyebrow here and then one eyebrow off to the side. And then let's define his face a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and bring out this side of his cheek. Bring it down. And then I'm gonna jump over to this on top of his head. We're gonna bring out his little adorable fin. We got one little fin up here, just kind of looks like a flower petal. And another little flower petal here. Jump up. Bring this back just a little bit, and then we're gonna jump underneath that and bring down this part just a little bit. And this part's gonna go downwards. And for right now, that's what we can do to Flounder because we're gonna go ahead and piece her arms around Flounder. So I'm gonna jump back to her neck and start from underneath her jawline right here, bring down her neck just a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead out this way and bring out one shoulder and then we're gonna round this down to here go up and then you're gonna jump back to her shoulder. So we're looking at where it's lining up with her shoulder right here. So I'm gonna jump down just a little bit down here. Go ahead and draw this part of her arm. This is her upper arm. And we're gonna draw her forearm. So I'm gonna go inwards. It's gonna go underneath flounder. And then we're going to get to one of her little hands because we're at her wrist. I'm going to start with the, her thumb. It's going to go outwards. Just a little itty bitty thumb. We're going to go back down. And then I'm going to go straight up. 
So the straight, curve this inward. And you're gonna build up little piece, little fingers underneath her pointer finger. Here's the middle finger, her ring finger, and her pinky. And you're just gonna bring it, flatten out her pinky over to the, off to the side. We're just seeing the knuckles because she's wrapped around flounder. And then right here, what you're going to do is you're just going to draw a circle. This is going to be her other hand. So I'm going to jump underneath her face, bring down this other shoulder that we can't see, and I'm going to draw through that circle and go down to her hand and stop. That's when I'm going to jump back to the circle we drew, go out this way, round this part down, jump underneath that circle, go inward like this, and then bring that part down. Let's go ahead and draw her hand before we draw the rest of flounder. Her forefinger is going to go up on top of the circle, go up and in. Bring this one down. And this is her middle finger. Jump off to the side. And we have her ring and pinky finger. Curve in her pinky finger just a little bit more. So we have her forefinger, her middle finger, ring finger and pinky. And if we clear up, clear up some of these guidelines, you'll be able to see it a little bit more. Now that we have both hands, we can go ahead and fill, finish up flounder. So where we left off from his body going like this, it's gonna go up and down, cause that's his little fin. And then this little part, the top fin, this is his back fin. And this part is his top fin, his little mohawk. It looks like his hair. And you can go ahead and get rid of the guidelines on Flounder's face that we were using. From his top fin, I'm going to go ahead and bring down his blue stripes. So one goes right here, go up and in, bring down this one, go up, and then another one. And we can go ahead and make his little two front fins, his side fins, and they're just like flower petals. We have one right here over Ariel's arm, and then another over here on Ariel's arm. And you want to go ahead and divide that up into three. So one, we have the middle piece, the side piece, and this side, and this side, the middle, Go ahead and give him a little bit more of a cheek off to the side because he's just this cute little pudgy fishy. Let's get fill him in. After that, what I'd like to do is I'd like to jump behind her neck and give her a little bit of a loop back here and then bring down that loop down to her seashell. Look, we have to look, make her look like she is wearing something. So we have one little seashell off to the side of Flounder's face and this is connected to it. Go ahead and divide that seashell up into pieces. So underneath her arm, we're gonna go ahead and bring out this part. Bring out her bottom. Curved downwards, so we got her bottom curved downwards. For the top of her fin, where her knees are, cut off this part of her hand. Curve this downward.
bottom what you're going to do is you're just going to make like a flower petal. Jump off to the side and make another little flower petal. And you can go ahead and erase this part at the top of her tail. We have that top of her mermaid tail where it goes, where we bring this around and it goes like this to find her fin. Ariel's missing something very important and I just wanted to go ahead and leave it for the last part since her hair kind of wraps around her body. So for the part of her hair, it's going to start off to the side. It's going to go down this way and we're going to make her bangs first. So we're going to go a little bit above that part, go up and down. And then I'm going to jump underneath that part and bring this down. And there's her bangs, so then I'm going to jump back behind here. Bring this off and up to here. Curve this inward and down. I'm going to give her her little ear just kind of hiding back here. So after I curve the top of her head, you're going to jump back behind here. Bring this down. Curve outward just below. And curve this part outward part and into her body. Make that a little bit rounder on top. There we go. Get rid of some of these guidelines. In front of her ear, she has just a little itty bitty curl. There we go. Well, I hope this was helpful and I hope it was a good finishing mermaid tutorial to finish off the month of May. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into Despicable Me, a Despicable Me three character tutorials next week. But yes, guys, I hope you have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye!